Welcome into the Main Event Broadcasting Network. I'm Tim McCormack, Director of Athletic Communications here at Piedmont College. Today we'll be sitting down with head tennis coach Shane Wood to talk a little about the upcoming 2016 tennis season. You are. Coach Wood, thanks for joining us here on the Main Event Broadcast Network. We appreciate your time. My pleasure. I think you're pretty excited probably to be in here rather than in the cold and the snow and everything that's going out there right now. <laughs> Apparently the snow is coming, so yes, this is a good place to be. Well, we appreciate you taking a few minutes away here to talk a little bit about the upcoming 2016 men's and women's tennis seasons. Uh, we're excited about it. I know you are as well. So let's delve right into it. First of all, let's talk about addition to the coaching staff. Trey Martin steps in uh, as one of your leaders last year on the men's team. Now will be the graduate assistant for the program. 12 wins, I believe, last year as a, as a singles player. Right. Really improved over his career. What does he bring to the table as a graduate assistant coach? Well, you know, one of the things in his hire, um, he's a Piedmont guy. He knows the program. Um, so he, when he jumps in on the court, he kind of knows what I expect in terms of how practices run, mm -hmm. about you know some of the output that, we're, that we need to get that day. Right. Um, the other part, and this is I've already seen this, um, sending him out on the recruiting trail. Him being a Piedmont guy, he really loves the school. Um, he's, he's very good one on one with the recruits, and he's gotten a lot of kids on campus uh, already this year. Um, just talking about his experience as a student athlete. He's doing a great job um, talking to parents and talking to kids as a recruiter, um, which is always nice for us as coaches right. to have that extra piece. Um, so, you know, I've, I've kind of seen twofold where he has, you know, a lot of pluses and a lot of strengths, and it's been a good transition so far. Awesome. We're looking forward to seeing him out there on the court now as a coach. Uh, I think it'll be a great transition for him. We're looking forward to it. Uh, let's talk first men's side. Okay. Uh, the Lions return some talent, but you do lose a few pieces as well. Right. Uh, last year to graduation, Mason and Trey, two of those, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, two big pieces, but you return a good bit of experience too. Right. What's the makeup of the, of the 2016 men's team looking like here as we, we kind of try, try to fill the shoes of Mason and Trey? Well, I uh, lost some veteran guys in those, in those two um, pieces, but we, we are excited about the guys that are stepping in to, to cover them up. Um, we're going to look to some of our sophomores to play a, a more vital role, um, specifically Brian Barnett, who played a little bit um, in singles and doubles last year. Mm -hmm. He's going to be asked to play more, uh, and, and he, I think he's ready for that challenge. He, he's a very talented kid. He works really hard. Um, just got into the lineup sparingly last year uh, because of our, our upperclassmen, but he's going to be one of those guys that sees a, a, an expanded role in the lineup. And then we've got, uh, you know, Nathan and Matt Metzger back for their uh, another year. And uh, very talented kids, some of the better players in the conference. And I'm just hoping that they continue to build on their success from last year. Yeah, and we, we've mentioned the Metzgers before, of course, the brothers from New Zealand right. uh, for your team too as well. But, you know, new kids standing out as well. Uh, what does the, the, the new class of Lions look like here? With Harrison, we've talked about a little bit in passing. I kind of mentioned a little bit as far as anybody who stood out in the early going. Yeah, Harrison La Bolita is a guy who um, won a state doubles championship as a high school player, has come in and really um, been a very passionate worker in practice. He, he comes out and, and just really loves to drill and to grind. And, and he's jumped in with the guys and done a really good job of, of blending in with, with the rest of the team. Um, he's going to get a lot of playing time as well, has a big serve. Um, it's going to help us a lot in doubles. It's going to help us you know, a lot in singles, too. I'm excited about you know, what he brings to the table as a competitive guy. Um, you know, he, he is um, one of those kids that you know, doesn't say a whole lot, just goes to work. Um, and I've, I've enjoyed coaching him so far. I, I think he's got a lot of potential. Um, he hits big shots. Uh, he's got to work on consistency a little bit. Uh, but he, um, you know, he's got the tools to be a really good player here. Mm -hmm. Let's talk schedule. Uh, 2016 now here, okay. of course. Uh, you had the fall season, played a few matches. Uh, the boys played in the ITAs as well. So you ha you've mm -hmm. had a little bit of experience, kind of what you've seen so far. Heading now into the spring, but you open up with a right. tough opponent in Swanee. Right. Uh, an opponent with national team, with national tournament experience on mm -hmm. both sides. Uh, and, and a really fearsome opponent as well. I think, if I'm not mistaken, is that going to be a match that's indoors, though? Probably 99% sure. <laughs> so that's that exciting one way or the yeah. other. <laughs> we we uh, typically, when we go up there in February, it's really, really cold. If, if there's no snow, you're mm -hmm. lucky. <laughs> and so they, they have an indoor facility. That's usually how we kick everything off. So Absolutely. And talk a little bit about just facing the opponent and kind of what it does to set up your season as well as you go through and what kind of the information it gives you about your team. Yeah. You, you you hit the nail on the head. Swanee um, has a, a national 
a nationally ranked and nationally renowned team in terms of men and women. Mm -hmm. um, their coaches have been there for 100 years. They've been doing it well for 100 years. Mm -hmm. um, it, it is a measuring stick for us. We, we like to go up there and play a very good opponent right off the bat um, just to get us ready for down the road right. and to kind of see where we are. Um, it allows us to, you know, knowing that you have that level of opponent, you know, I kind of preach to the kids, there's no need to be nervous. There's no need to hold anything back. You, you know these guys are good. Mm -hmm. um, they've got the pedigree. Um, let's let's go up there and compete with them. Let's go up there and, and, and play hard and, and, you know, hold nothing back. And that's kind of what we do. When we go up there and play typically two matches in their building, uh, play a neutral site opponent as well, and just it kind of just – sets the tone for the rest of our season. I like doing it that way. Yeah, absolutely. And we're looking forward to you guys as well coming in with the USA South portion of the schedule. Mm -hmm. Both teams performed exceptionally well, too, in the postseason last year mm -hmm. in the USA South. Um, talk a little bit about, you know, we kind of noticed a little bit of clumps, basically, a couple of home matches, a couple of away matches. Talk a little bit about the navigation of the schedule when it comes to USA South play. Well, you know, we, we have a, a block of time in March where we're home quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a challenging schedule just for all the coaches here at Piedmont. Of it's one of those things where you log a lot of miles on the buses and that kind of thing. But, you know, it's, it's, it's a challenging schedule, but it's a good schedule. We're, we're very excited about playing, um, you know, the, the Methodists and the North Carolina Wesleyans of the world. And the Huntingdons, um, you know, that, that's always a big match for us. And, and we're, we're excited about having them at our place again this year. Um, you know, the biggest thing for us is just, you know, what we're trying to do in practice and, and what we're trying to build towards. You know, we've, we've had um, in the tournament a couple of semifinal visits with mm -hmm. the men, uh, and, and the ladies had a very nice win against Huntington last right. year. We want to build off of that. We, we don't want to settle for that every year. We want to try to see if we can take that next step and be, you know, be a contender to go, you know, all the way to the championship match. So that's, so that's kind of what we're building on. Well, the championship pedigree that your programs have, it would be no surprise to see us there. Uh, we're looking forward to it, Coach. Good luck here in 2016. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Appreciate your time. Yeah. Thanks again for joining us here on the Main Event Broadcasting Network as we sat down today with head tennis coach Shane Wood to talk a little bit about the upcoming 2016 tennis season. It all starts on Friday, February 19th for the Lions as they travel to take on the Tigers of Swanee. For the home opener, it's the Vikings of Barry who come on Thursday, February 25th to Bergen Tennis Courts. I'm Tim McCormack, Director of Athletic Communications. We'll see you next time.